Utility Rates Assistance Program Project Assist Updates. Finance and Governance Committee, June 13th, 2023. City Council, June 29th, 2023. My name is Grant Dunn, Management Analyst 3, or Brian Yanez, Assistant Public Works Director, Public Works Department. Recommendation that the Finance and Governance Committee recommend that the City Council, one, adopt a resolution for the Utility Rate Payers Assistance Program Project Assist for fiscal year 2324 to assist eligible Oxnard residents and authorized staff to grant financial relief equal to a monthly $25 maximum credit per utility bill charged to residential customers who meet the eligibility requirements discussed in this staff report up to the amount funded for fiscal year 2324 and two, authorize staff to, to fund project assist in fiscal year 2324 by utilizing $241,500 that has been paid to the city for late penalties charged to the city utility customers. Recommendation that the City Council adopt, one, adopt a resolution for Utility Ratepayers Assistance Program Project Assist for fiscal year 23-24 to assist eligible Oxnard residents and authorized staff to grant financial relief equal to a monthly $25 maximum credit per utility bill charged to residential customers who meet the eligibility requirements discussed in this staff report up to the amount funded for fiscal year 23-24, and two, authorize staff to fund project assist in fiscal year 23-24 by utilizing $241,500 that has been paid to the city for late penalties charged to the city utility customers. Background, project assist. The program is eligible for solid waste, water, and wastewater residential utility customers. Initially approved by City Council in May 2017 and renewed annually by the City Council. For year six, fiscal year 22-23, the project assist budget was $145,000 and financial relief per customer was $15, allowing for a total of 805 applicants. Project Assist has accepted and enrolled 784 Oxnard residents during the first 10 months from July 2022 through May 18, 2023. Discussion. For year seven, fiscal year 23-24, staff is requesting an increase the monthly credit amount from $15 to $25. Utilize $241,500 from late penalty revenues. Continue to allow for 805 eligible residential utility customers to participate. Year seven of this program will be implemented on July 1, 2023, if approved by council. Staff does not think expanding the number of applicants is necessary since in the past years of this program, there have not been any applicants placed on a waiting list due to the limits of the funding. Given the unpredictable amount of penalties collected, since this is driven by customer behavior, staff does not recommend going beyond the $25 month credit. Staff has confirmed there are sufficient funds accounted for in the water and wastewater costs of service analysis, approximately $610,000 per year remains available in fiscal year 23-24 from late payments. Discussion continued. History of the funding and participation for project assist. As you can see here, uh, in fiscal year 17-18, we started off with 392 actual participants. The participation has grown since then, and as you can see, in the table, uh, we have 784 participants in fiscal year 
Since its inception, the availability of the program is capped by the total amount of funding approved by council each year. Applicants are screened on a first come first served basis and must apply each program year to ensure participants remain eligible. Customers can file applications via email or through the U.S. mail anytime throughout the program year. Penalties for late payment of utility bills are imposed to regulate conduct to encourage prompt payment of utility bills and not as an incident of property ownership to pay for the cost of providing utility service. Therefore, those penalties are not fees or charges that are subject to Article 8D of the California Constitution, Proposition 218, and can be used for the purposes other than operating expenses. Accordingly, the late charges collected by the utility can be used for the purpose of unrelated unrelated to utility service. The city's utilities may, be, may use the late charges to fund the project assist program. Eligibility for project assist. Eligibility is determined by the applicant's acceptance into the Southern California Edison, SCE, or the SoCal Gas Company's California alternate rates for energy care program. Eligibility for project assist. Project assist requirements mirror the care income guidelines shown in, table, in the table below, which are effective from June 1, 2022 to May 31st, 2023. Other assistant programs include the California Low Income Household Water Assistance Program is also available at www.csd.ca.gov slash LIHWAP. Assistance with LIHWAP Call Community Action Ventura County at 805-436-400. Information on the state, federal, and local programs at www.csd.ca.gov or call 1-866-675-662. Financial Impact. The financial impact of approving the Utility Rates Assistance Program Project Assist for Year 7 in fiscal year 23-24 is $241,500 from late penalty revenues. While no late penalties were assessed to customers during the pandemic, there are sufficient funds from prior year penalties collected to fund Year 7 of Project Assist. No budget adjustment is necessary. That concludes the presentation. We now ask for questions. Thank you.